Hi Gemini, welcome to your 2020 release and receive reading with me Cindy. So this is for Gemini Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus and um, we're going to go into what you're releasing coming into 2020. What are you getting rid of? What are you finally, that's enough of that. And then what are you receiving? What's this, you know, and it's all good stuff. It's really, it's good stuff. That's kind of how I do it. I don't want to know about the bad stuff. You're going to figure that out soon enough. <laughs> the good stuff. So this is the interesting thing with your reading, Gemini. Oh, okay. Let me put this out there first. Anyone who's come to my channel um, often or knows how I typically do my video readings, I usually shuffle on camera during the reading and you see the cards come out. I'm not doing that with the 2020 um, release and receive because there's so many cards. I have quite a few Oracle cards. I have like two piles set up here that have come out. This is your releasing and this is your receiving. Um, yeah, so you'd be sitting for 10 minutes watching me shuffle and look and pull in the messages and so it's all been done. So having said that, now this is where it's really weird. So Gemini, Aries got two cards that they were releasing to talk about what they were releasing. You got the exact same two cards. Plus one. So you have three. So yours is slightly different from theirs. But it's so weird. Like two different Oracle decks and you got the two same cards. And they've really been shuffled. How many of like well I've uh, Aries. So I've done Taurus between like you and Aries. So their whole reading was done. It was pre-shuffling between like both. Let's get into it, Gemini. What you are here. I'm going to pull this one up first. So this is from the Wild Untamed Animal Spirit deck. This is the deer energy. And it's coming out fairly similar to what Aries was. This is the one they pulled too. And this is like a very innocent, um, I want to say a little bit naive maybe. Very innocent, maybe slightly naive energy. You're getting rid of that. It's, it's going out. It's down the toilet, in the garbage, recycling bin. It's gone. So... Then the other two that came out from the um, Energy Oracle deck. Indecision and Deceit. Deceit is the other card that Aries got. So you got those two cards, then you got this extra one of Indecision. And look at all this red. Wow. Like I really, I'm really getting a stronger message with you. Like this Deceit, this Indecision has something to do with, I want to say something uh, um, very emotional like heart based someone it's a little bit inside like from within like deceiving yourself too like perhaps having been innocent or naive about a situation and, you know and I, I hate that <laughs> being an Aries too we got this one because you know the thing about earth is like, naive shouldn't be, you know, it's like, well, you should know better. People are going to take advantage. Well, what the hell is wrong with people? Like, why do they have to, right? Like, I don't know. <laughs> they just will never get this world. But apparently it's not good. So it's not good here on Earth. So you got to release it. You got to let it go with Aries. Get rid of that. Don't be naive. Don't be innocent. Don't be all sweet and cuddly to everybody. Because someone's deceiving you. I feel like someone's deceiving you and you've been sitting in indecision. So this is kind of telling me that you're either moving away from both options or you're finally figuring out where the deceit is and you're going in the other. I hope you're going in the other direction. I have to say you are because your receiving pile is awesome. Your receiving pile is bloody awesome. It's good. It's a good receive now. So that's what you're releasing. That's what it is. You're releasing whatever naive ideas you had about some sort of connection. Um, you're looking, you're seeing the deceit, the indecision, that's leaving. It's all going. Say goodbye to that crap. I love it. I love what you are releasing. Goodbye being naive. Goodbye being innocent. Goodbye indecision and goodbye deceit. What better release could you get, huh? Okay, so why? Why are you releasing this if it's not obvious? You know, I ask, it's part of the, the, um, 
the layout that I have. Like, that's the question I have to ask it. It's kind of obvious with what you got. So, um, you had three tarot cards come out. You had one from the Tarot de la Nuit, the Page of Swords. I want to say that this page has finally figured it out, baby. <laughs> this page has finally seen the truth. This page is finally starting to see the truth. This page has probably been watching and thinking and analyzing, maybe spying, I don't know, checking out social media, whatever you're doing. But watching. Watching and observing. And doing it in a very um, straightforward, like look at how clearly she's looking here. Come on. Oh, I have so much trouble focusing on the glossy cards. It drives me nuts. I want you to see the focus in her face. Come on. Please. What the heck? Aw. Uh, okay, keep that focus. Keep it. Keep it. <laughs> there we go. Do you see the intensity of the stare? I feel like you're like taken down with your stare, whatever was deceiving you. I see you for what you are and I'm done with it. Like, oh, that was pretty good. And then, boy, are you finished with it. Then from my Shadowscape Tarot, you got two cards. You got the Seven of Swords and the Knight of Swords. You were cutting shit out. You were cutting shit out and exploring the truth here like, like nobody's business. The Seven of Swords, I'm getting away from what's not serving me. Coming out of the indecision here, very beautiful, very nice. I'm coming out of that indecision. I know what I need to exit. And the Knight of Swords, I know what I need to go forward in my truth with. Or I need to know where the truth is and where I'm going, right? So that really helps you, like, with this indecision. Which way are you going? Well, I'm not going this way because that's what I need to get away from. And this is my truth, so I'm going that way. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's the reason. Those cards are the reason that you are leaving that crap behind. <laughs> like I said, in the garbage, down the toilet, <laughs> recycling bin, organic bin, whatever bin you got, it's going out there. Bye-bye. So long, farewell. I love this reading for you. All right. Next. The, um, so then I want to explore the energy surrounding this release. Like, what's sort of really pushing this, motivating it? Now, the masculine, the divine masculine energy you got um, is the green man abundance and helios cycles. And boy, is that the catalyst for, because wait till you see you're receiving. It's like, yes. So it's time for abundance is what Gemini is saying. It is time for abundance. I am done with the cycles. Oh, no, I'm done with this cycle. I'm moving into a new thing. If you're done with cycles, that's kind of like the end. I guess that's like, may you rest in peace. I don't see that in this reading for you. Not at all. Okay. So abundance, the green man. This is almost like the Midas touch, this guy. Everything he touched grows, grows and flourishes. It's like, I know my energy is good. The energy that I've been involved with is bad. I am getting rid of that so that I can have abundance and growth that I know that I'm naturally able to produce. And I'm making a brand new cycle for me. A brand new cycle. That's the very action-based masculine energy in you. Whether you're male or female, we have all those things in us. So that's really what is pushing that. Oh, and I like the way these two cards are sitting. Look at how the cycles. Helios is going right towards the green man. I'm going right to where I'm pushing this cycle. I'm going right into my abundance, baby. Right into my abundance. Oh, I didn't turn this other light on. Is that better? Oh, hi. <laughs> Hello. Okay. And then the feminine, Aphrodite, romantic love, is what is the energy surrounding this causing it to happen. A, I want my abundance. I'm pushing it into a new cycle. I'm taking that with me. I'm running. And you know, if I find romantic love along the way, that's just awesome. <laughs> I'll take it because now I know what I'm looking for. Now I know I'm not this little deer anymore. I'm not this sweet little deer anymore. I figured it out. I might still be a page, but it didn't actually take you long to move up to the night. So you'll probably become the king, queen in no time at all. Yeah, you'll become something, not to worry. You'll become something. So 
that's what's moving this. It's almost as if, you know what, I want the real thing. I feel like maybe if relationships, I mean, romantic love is a pretty strong card. There's not a lot of ways you can read that. You can read it in yourself too. Yeah, kind of read it into yourself, like love for yourself. Romantic love is one of those loves that's pretty specific, right? So I don't know if you can apply it to a job. I guess you could if that's the romance of your life is your job, maybe. But I think for most people, it is what it's saying, romantic love. So the deceit in the past was this relationship that wasn't working. There may be some self-deceit that's been causing you indecision too, where um, he hasn't texted me in like five days. I don't know. You know what? If he likes you, he's going to text you. I'm just telling you. I've all my, not all my life, but before I was married, dating. Like, yeah. If they're interested, boom, boom, boom. If they're not, go on. Like, don't even bother. Just go on. You give them a chance and then that's it, right? So coming out of, do, do I still try? Or you know what? No, if someone is interested in you, you're going to know it. I think so. I think so. And I think you feel that. You know that. You were looking for the real thing here. All right. What are you receiving? Well, let's start with your Unknown Animal Spirit deck. You got the camel. This is fire energy, which is interesting. Because it's the camel, right? You're like, oh, the camel is fire now? So the camel lives in a very hot, fiery environment. But yet the camel is able to sustain that. Ooh, interesting message coming in with this all of a sudden. So... I feel in the past, because this, this deceit card is a little bit devilish to me. I don't know about you, but that guy is harnessing a little bit of devil energy. Um, maybe codependency, particularly with him. He's sitting there juggling like coins and money. So maybe there was codependency. Um, there could have been a, maybe a lot of lust, but no love or trust. Right? So this is now understanding how to handle the heat. The heat of lust, of desire. The camel can do that. The camel can live in the desert. The camel is okay. The camel keeps its balance and harmony even while it's in the desert because it's got all that moisture locked away. And I guess I think it's fat cells in the in the humps. Um, and then when it's cool at night, that's okay too. The camel can handle that. It's, it's easy peasy, man. So it's almost like I have learned a lot. <laughs> you know, Gemini, you've learned a lot going through these cycles, deceit, self-deceit, deceit from others. Really, any deceit from others is kind of we set ourselves up for it, I would think. Really, probably setting ourselves up for it. And it, again, it comes down to welcome to earth. Don't be naive. People will take advantage. I don't think they mean to take advantage. I don't know. I'm still trying to figure out this planet. Okay, rest and rejuvenate. And victory. Are your two energy oracle cards? You are going to have a good time just even, you know, recovering. Recovering from what may have depleted you, energies that may have been sucking the life out of you, and victory. What it is you're looking for, this abundance and this romantic love, yeah, yeah, I think you're going to have victory in that. I do, actually. I do, because you have some good cards coming. I do see that for you, Gemini. Now, the tarot cards to kind of tell us, well, why? Why is why is this something Gemini is going to receive in 2020? This this balance and desire and lust, like being able to, to control that and not be naive and to be able to go into rest and rejuvenate and focus, like move energies away from you that aren't serving you like just naturally be able to do that and find victory in what it is that you want what a great card to pull out for what you're going to receive in 2020 victory wow all right that's awesome okay so oh isn't that funny someone else had that happen and i'm just seeing it now so you got two cards two of your turtle and a wee for why you were receiving this the seven of swords and the Three of Pentacles. The Seven of Swords was on the other side, right? So it's definitely, you're receiving this. It's happening, A, with the Seven of Swords because you need to exit what's not serving you. And then you're receiving kind of like the opposite of what you're releasing because you are exiting 
what's not serving you. How amazing is that? That's amazing. And the Three of Pentacles putting you right in to collaborating, working better, like playing well with others. <laughs> Sounds like a report card. Okay. Gemini did not play well with others. They were too lusty and they let their desires get the better of them. But now they've moved away from relationships and friendships that do not serve them in the playground. And now they're playing well with others. <laughs> there you go. That's pretty good. It is. With this Three of Pentacles in this deck, though, it reminds me of um, collaboration more with, with uh, spirit, mind, soul. Like it's a connection here. Because she's pulling this out of the book. It's very mystical, beautiful, deeper self. And I feel like you get that through this rest and rejuvenation. Being able to really ground yourself and identify your energies and what energies you want coming towards you or not. Then the other tarot deck, the Shadowscape, you got the Sun and the Wheel of Fortune for why you are receiving victory and balance and harmony and rest and rejuvenation wish fulfillment happiness the end of the rainbow brought to you today by the universe meant for you to come in like it's almost as if it's almost as if what's coming to you in 2020 is meant to come to you and maybe it should have come a couple years ago but you were in stuff that wasn't serving you. It wasn't the right energy. You couldn't receive it in that energy. Because look, we have it twice on either side of why you're releasing and why you're receiving is because of the Seven of Swords. Because you're finally looking at what you need to move yourself away from. What's not serving you? Maybe it's an obligation or a commitment, but hey, if it's not ser it's if it's serving you in such a, disserving you in such a way that it is preventing destined stuff to come towards you yeah you need to get out of it right and there you go the seven of swords so you're creating that energy to allow it to come in now so the masculine energies around this receiving focus and confidence i really feel like you are coming out hot out of the gates in 2020 gemini like hot out of the gates focus and confidence Achilles there's only one little spot on Achilles that is a weakness you know it's that tendon in the back by the ankle that's it that's the only weakness for Achilles everything else is strength and the focus I feel like that's not even a weakness because now you have the focus now you really know what it is that serves you what doesn't serve you doesn't serve you and look at how cool the air is here like this guy has totally got all of his desires and wishes um, and dreams He's controlling it, and there it is in the arrow. There's what I'm looking for. That's exactly what I'm looking for, right? It's beautiful. It's good, Gemini, huh? It's good. All right. Now, the feminine energy that is um, surrounding this receiving, we have wise leadership and water. Finally, being your own leader. Finally taking on that strip. Look at, I love the way this wise leadership card is move, is looking. Look at all the, her energy is directed right to this water card. And water is all about deep feelings, intuition, cleansing, clarity. It's wonderful energy. I'm moving myself in this direction. Like it's a very beautiful balanced energy. Um, you're using like really Gemini sword energy to understand your truth and release yourself from what's not serving you here. And then when you do that, you take on a much warmer, intuitive, fluid energy. Like, it's great. It's really good. The sun can also be like um, a partnership choice. So you might be getting, I mean, you're getting victory in what you're hoping for. You're getting victory. How that comes to each one of you is going to be a little bit different, right? In terms of what you want in that victory. But yeah, look, at I wanted to show you these two. The energy of these two, right? This very doughy, caught in the headlights, naive energy. Not anymore, honey. <laughs> Not anymore. This is a very strong leader. This is like the empress. 
in the tarot. And this is like the page of cups, maybe. <laughs> maybe, right? And then this, she knows, she knows. But yet, I feel that this, this energy, this wise leadership is even stronger than this. And the Empress is like, to me, it's all the queens. So remember I said, well, you're starting off as the page and then you move into the, into the night here. You're probably going to hit the Queen of Cups. You went right past that. And then you're like, or the Queen of Swords. I'm going to take on all the queens here. That's who I am right now. Whether you're male or female, it's taking on that energy. Leadership in your feelings. Identifying what serves you and what doesn't serve you. Moving towards what does and not giving your energy towards what doesn't. It's nice. Now, the last card. I have a drink first. We're all thanking Aquarius for the last card because I wasn't going to include it in the spread um but Aquarius's reading was was kind of heavy it was actually for the first one it was a really it was a heavy it got really good though but what they were releasing was very big um I thought you know they kind of need an uplifting love so we're all getting because of them a journey of love oracle deck and you guys got number 30 number 56 Dance of the Planets. So this is your final Oracle card moving into 2020. So let's see what this says to you. What does this Oracle bring to Gemini? The Oracle brings a message. Pray that the planetary forces funnel blessings of grace and unconditional love, mercy, and joy to you now. That their movements through your life may happen in such a way that you can make the most of it. These are the times when big shifts are possible, supported by cosmic movements. So pray for grace and then enjoy the ride. <laughs> well, that's good. Yeah, because what's coming in? But the wheel here, because you've cleared the energy, now it's able to come in. Really good karmic energy is now able to come in because you've finished some other karmic cycle that was heavy. Now the good is coming in. It's great, huh? Well, there you go, Gemini. That's what you're releasing. And that's what you're receiving. For 2020, I kind of like it. And it still seems so odd that you and Aries have such similar cards for your release. The story's a little bit different, but it's, it's fairly similar. So there you go. Thank you for allowing me to do that reading for you guys. Until next time, be gentle with yourselves. Bye.